yes. The intersection of Red Crow and Jerry Potts Boulevards. West Lethbridge. Quite a memory lane for me. <laughs> Given that, when I was first married to Mahoney, I lived in a duplex, maybe four houses down this way, on Jerry Potts here. And then when I was first with Chelsea, I lived just up the road here in some white apartments with her. And, you know, I got friends who live up and down the street here. It's a very familiar place to me. And now I've got Manda Moonshine, my student slash friend who lives here at the corner. She's got her Moonshine's Moss Bag sign up in her window. And uh, she's hustling. Trying to be an indigenous arts entrepreneur with her moss bags that she has a lot of um, pride in. Any case, picking her up, going to the studio. Um, it's going to be a challenging, I think, couple of days for me. I'm trying to just be calm about it, but I have to move the studio in two days. And I'm not on my lonesome to do it or anything. I've got some help lined up. Um, but it's going to be some work, some hustle, and I've got class at the same time. Like, we're still having class today until 1.30 in the afternoon, both days, today and tomorrow. i got less than 48 hours to move into the studio. Um, the new studio. The new facility. <laughs> I'm gonna miss our studio um, so today I feel like like my sunglasses are a little bit uh, analogous to myself you know they kind of look like functional look like they're doing what they're supposed to do but if you if you take a step closer turn at another angle you'll see that there's something quite wrong with these sunglasses, okay? They are actually broken or uh, dysfunctional in some way. I mean, here's the other arm, right? So, brokenness. Brokenness and non-repairable. Is that how I feel? Not exactly. I am going to be, by the way, my phone dinged, which means Miss Manda Moonshine is finally aware that I'm out here. I messaged her a couple of times. She might have gone into the shower or nodded off again. I don't know. Um, but we should see her out here any, pretty quick. Anyway, it is what? Today is uh, April 29th, Thursday, my favorite day of the week, 2021, in the Lunar Cycle Matsi Kapiseki. So the frog moon. Hey! Look at my new earrings on me. Oh, those are them, hey? Yeah. Nice. A a jingle little jingle cold. earring. Yeah, it's so cool. Yeah. Do yeah. people buy those? I have like three people who, who want to buy them. Really? Yeah. See, he's already selling them. them. On Snapchat. He's hustling. <laughs> oh, look. Ooh, are we taking a trap today? No, no oh. traps. There's no animals. Mm. I don't know what's going on. I think they got COVID. Oh. <laughs> they might have. Can they get COVID? I think they can. I think any, like, any small mammal, oh, like, wow. or what they had the, somebody, what, there was that big story that somebody uh, destroyed, like, a whole bunch of mink. They were breeding minks. Yeah, that's what I heard, that the, right? the mink had coronavirus, and that's how it got out. Yeah, see, so if mink can get coronavirus, for sure skunks can, right? Because they are, they're, they're like, pretty closely related. Yeah. So... Yeah, I'm thinking uh, maybe our skunks got COVID. I don't know. Yeah, that's scary. We could have. I haven't seen a skunk under my deck in like like weeks. Yeah. Yeah, hasn't like made noise. Maybe he moved. Hopefully, hopefully 
it's not uh, not coronavirus. The Rona. <laughs> <laughs> I was just lamenting about how I got to move today. Uh, yeah. Today and tomorrow. I would help, but my assignment's due today. I can help tomorrow for sure. Yeah, don't worry about it. I got, I got guys. Okay. I got muscle. I'll just stand around and <laughs> boss everyone around anyway. Put this guy right over there. <laughs> Got a message from Brittany, so we're headed to pick her up next. <laughs> Turn at the water tower. Turn at the water tower. Yeah, we are just waiting here for Brittany, who is the youngest sister of my friend Cass. And Brittany and I did a fun thing yesterday. <laughs> you look all right. <laughs> my one of my other buddies uh, has a mallard couple who's laying eggs at his um, on his property. They finally found a proper nest, but for a couple of days they were just laying them up on his deck. And uh, he took those eggs inside, gave them to me. Yesterday I brought them to the studio, and me and Brittany had a. Uh, an egg, what would you call it? I don't know. A toast, I, don't know, I guess. I don't, <laughs> I don't know. It was a raw egg toast. Yeah, we had a couple of shots of raw mallard egg. We each had a, a, an egg in a in a little cup. Check it out. Well, let's see. Oh my god. Did you already do it? No. no. Okay. It was empty. No. Who wants to be cameraman? Oh no, Do you have a bark bucket? Wait, I have a table. <laughs> <laughs> Move all your fabrics away. Hey. Alright, so we got our two mallard eggs, mallard duck eggs, just raw. <laughs> Brittany is going to eat a duck egg with Ryan. There's Brittany. Does it smell? No. Just take a deep Are you breath. excited? No. <laughs> 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 a little bit of spillage. Let's go some more. Cheers. Cheers. Then I'll show that footage. And next we'll show Brittany. Coming in. You can have breakfast. Oh, there she is. Oh. There she comes. Uh, uh, Her and a uh, cute pink hair. Oh, uh huh. <laughs> She looks healthy today after oh, yes. eating that drink. <laughs> yeah, look at her. She's strong. She's healthy and healthy strong today. after eating that raw egg. You got, a, <laughs> <laughs> got a glow about you. <laughs> Off we go. Today I got to consciously wear, wear my mask. Yeah. Hey, ladies. Yeah. Good morning. Hello. Good morning. Good morning. Good Hey, plants. Yeah. Yeah. We're gonna see some some shirts emerging today. Hey. Yeah. <laughs> right on. Yes. Yeah. I'm excited. Maybe you guys can start kind of write out what you guys want oh, to do for your second project. I did it. Oh. 
And I, I was scared of this, so it looks alright. Man, I love this new camera. So nice to have telescoping ability back. I am obviously cruising down the Alexander Wilderness Park Road. One of my daily rituals now. <laughs> and uh, seeing what's up. Ringneck pheasant, I don't know what he was doing there. Maybe just staying out of the wind. It's a bit breezy. It's warm though, 19 degrees right now. 19 degrees Celsius, so <coughs> it's the warm wind coming through uh, the Chinook. Next two days, it's gonna be in, uh, in excess of 20 degrees in the afternoon. So, and of course I'm moving. So I have already started the move this morning. Of course, you've seen me playing around there a little bit at the studio. I need to, uh, de-stress I think by doing that take advantage of a little studio time and then do some moving time and then do some studio time and some moving time I work like a beaver is what the way that I look at it hey eh? like if you ever go and sit and actually watch a beaver family work yeah they're busy but they're not really rushing busy and they're not um, doing one thing for too long hey eh? They do one thing for a little bit, and then they move on to another task and do something else. And they find time for play, you know, and they find time for frolic. So, I gotta do all that. And I'll get my stuff moved, you know. <laughs> um, yeah, so I have already this morning done a little bit of trickle moving into the facility. Uh, I ran a couple of things over to my friend Cass's place. She's going to be leaving for the weekend, and I wanted her to have a couple of things. Uh, and I needed some measurements from her on something. And Chelsea's home today. She's got a dental appointment this afternoon, so I'll probably be seeing her before too long. Maybe after my moving stuff. And I'm just going to continue my cruise here and then head back to the studio. <laughs> You're like, leave me alone. <laughs> I'm just tearing my stuff back up. <laughs> it's okay. It's part of the process. How's yours going? Yeah? Fit in and be nice. Oh, I want to take a picture. He's got to do this huh? Very cool. Very cool. It's fitting and everything. <laughs> That's sweet. Here's going okay. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I 
<laughs> yeah, watch your pins, Selena. I picked up 17 pins under your desk the other day. <laughs> yeah, it's like, why is she laying booby traps for me? <laughs> I'm barefoot here. <laughs> Just back on the Wilderness Park Road. It's the end of the day. Making my way home. I didn't film much of my work activity today because it was just so busy, the moving stuff. I got done about what I expected to get done today. Still a lot to come tomorrow. Maybe I'll end up phasing this video into a day two. We'll see how long it is. After our evening with the... It's pretty windy today. also been cleaning the current bushes up here along the edge of the road. This is Noppy. Yes. She's been out running around town. <laughs> this one she's been wearing. <laughs> what? It's fine. Mm -hmm. It's a shrug cover. You went to the dentist? I went to the dentist. Yeah. And I did my teeth and yeah. fixed them and then. You went visiting? Went visiting. And and shopping. Oh, no, I just washed my vehicle. Wash your vehicle. Mm -hmm. With car washing. Mm -hmm. Drive through. Or... Yeah. yeah. Then I pulled over, then I got off and started vacuuming and cleaning up. Yeah. 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 <laughs> what? This is not be. <laughs> Don't look out for this one. <laughs> Nobody said nothing. <laughs> Should I cut your hair tonight? Yeah, I need to trim. Yeah. I need to cut my whiskers. <laughs> They're feeling long. Are they? They're feeling a little bit long. Your lips? They're not too bad, but a little bit. Yeah. But your hair is... Yeah, it's getting... It's needing a trim, hey? Yeah. And a re-bleach. A re-bleach. 
touch-ups are needed. <laughs> we'll do some we'll do some hair here this evening. Mr. Bird, what are you up to? <laughs> uh -huh. It's not a bad outfit though. <laughs> <laughs> this is not be. It was windy, I can't wear a dress. So. I, I was supposed to be choosing her outfits. Not that I wouldn't choose something like this. <laughs> I've been I've been uh busy. Busy. Too busy. Well we haven't been you she's been sick. Yeah, real sick. So we haven't been playing for a little bit. I don't know. All kind of excuses. <laughs> 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 Dying in bed last week. She was. Oh, it's terrible. Throwing up. I felt like the exorcist. Yeah, it sounded like it. It's rain. <laughs> 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 all sorts Crying of sounds. All night. <laughs> Crying all night. Moving into bed. Can't oh. get comfortable. I'm just, yeah, it's terrible. Good morning. Have a good one. Thank you. Okay. Eat the Mexican Atani. Good morning. It is about quarter to eight o'clock in the AM on Friday, April 30th, 2021. Last day of the month. Last day in the studio. Yes, indeed. We are having regular sewing class today, followed by the big move, the final big move into the new space. And then this weekend's project for me is going to be all about setting up that new space. So not sure what's on the agenda all this morning. I'm kind of surprised I didn't get any skunk calls because I went and set up three new skunk traps last night in the west side of Lethbridge. Um, just got a barrage of calls all of a sudden. One of them indicating that the skunk was hauling grass from the lawn into into the den under his shed, which means that's like nest bedding, hey? So um, I don't know if the skunks already have babies or if they're right on the way, but it's, it's the cusp of something. And I'm hoping that uh, my, my business changes at the same time um, at the same time, I'm always happier when the skunks can just be doing what they're doing and be left alone. Anyhow, getting the day started here, headed to the west side to pick up Mandy Moonshine, and we'll see about Brittany Colleen, whether she's ready to roll or not this morning, or she's got her own ride elsewhere. But headed to the studio and getting the game on. Everybody's just happily productive at the studio. Should get some nearly completed shirts today, which will be fun. I've just been packing up uh, for the trickle move. The big move coming this afternoon. Bill Healy's bringing his trailer for me. And uh, I've got one other guy coming to help. Between the three of us, I think we can load up that classroom stuff pretty quick. I think. Any case, 
Uh, lo and behold, I did catch a skunk this morning. So somebody just phoned me uh, from over here on the north side of trap that I set probably two months ago. And, you know, it's in my records, but like consciously I'd forgotten about it. Uh, has a skunk. So we're gonna go pick that up and do a release. Oh, there we are. And I got a phone call. Hello. Is this Ryan? This is Ryan. Yes, uh, Ryan, my name is Joe Kellogg, and I got your name and phone number from uh, the animal shelter. Okay. Uh, there's a flicker in my backyard, and right now it's almost inaccessible. Uh, but uh, I'm sure it's there. It's not going to go anywhere. And it's got, it looks like it has a broken wing. Oh, okay. Okay. Um, uh, I don't, uh, I just thought I'd uh, touch base with you. If it comes out again, uh, you know, where it's running around the backyard, then maybe uh, somebody with a net, we could capture it, you know. Yeah, yeah. But right now, I, I, <laughs> it might be a waste of your time, but you can, if you want to come over, you can. I'm, I'll give you my address. I'm in the middle of a big move, so unless it oh. unless it's happening, I can't. Again, You're I shouldn't okay. do it today. <laughs> I'm, and, well, and I'm, I don't and think I'm, the bird is going to go anywhere. You yeah. know, like I say, you can't fly over the fence. Yeah. And uh, it's pretty well self-enclosed, the backyard. So, All right. Uh, uh, let me, do you want me to give uh, you my phone number, my name, and... Uh, when you're done? Yeah, I've got it here. Uh, well, I've got your I've got your phone number on my phone. Okay. Um, and my name is Joe. Okay. Joey. Okay. Kellogg. K e l l o g g. Okay. Okay. Uh, all right. Uh, I'll give you my phone number. Okay. So if uh, I guess just monitor it, and then if he's yeah, right. if He's back around. Let me know. Yeah. Uh, did you ever work for the animal uh, shelter? No. No, I'm the city's rattlesnake wrangler. Okay. Yeah. Alright, well thanks and uh, have a good nice day there. Okay, we'll see you. Alright, bye. Alright. Skunky. Hey Skunky. Got yourself in the trap, did ya? Oh, big mama probably, huh? Gee whiz. Well, hopefully you can find somewhere nice to have your babies. Because you can't stay here. Don't want you to stay here. This is of course like a worst case scenario, so I'm gonna get sprayed on the day that I'm moving into my new facility. Wow. Oh. Alright. I didn't come to
trying to get back to the studio, but I forgot. Last night, I got a call, kind of late, maybe around 8 o'clock or so, from a resident of downtown Lethbridge, or close to downtown Lethbridge here. I'll show you in a moment. Um, any case, said there was a badger digging holes in her backyard and in her neighbors, and it's entirely possible, uh, even though it's downtown, because there's kind of a green strip on either side of this highway that I'm just passing under right now, Highway 3. It's a green strip, so a badger could be feeding along that green strip and then come out this way uh, where I'm going and end up one way or another on 4th Avenue here. Hold on a minute. Let's see if we can get around the bus. Oh, shoot. I messed myself up because I need to be closer to that side. This is already 3rd Avenue and I only got a block to go, so... I'm gonna have to play uh, something with this bus. Shoot. Anyway, I'll turn on the camera when I'm there and show you what's up. Got to set a trap. Hey. Hi. Hello. Hey. Hey. Ooh, I smell skunk. Or is that bad? That's me. Yeah, I have this. Okay. <laughs> We have skunk problems too. Every year our dogs have been skunk. Yeah. This is where it dug its big hole. You can see. That's where my uncle caught it twice. Oh yeah. Okay. So it's dug here twice in the last day? Yeah, right there. Okay. Just filling it up. Okay. Cool. And that's is that the only place? Or? Um, well, there's in our yard. Um, when he was being chased by my uncle <laughs> with a hose and a shovel because he didn't know what to do, he was so surprised. Yeah. It was digging here. Oh yeah. And then trying to go in the corner and dig. And then it's been kind of doing it all around the yard, little bits here and there. Okay. But that seems to be where he hangs out. Yeah, I'll put it over here then. The most. <laughs> so this trap is really easy to operate if you catch somebody's cat or something. Okay. Um, it just it just flips open with and locks open like that to reset it. Okay. It, um, so I'm gonna set sardines in there because you got to use a little bit stinky bait for the badgers yeah. But that happens to attract cats and stuff too usually. Hey, you want a piece of wood or something? To... I'm gonna balance things out here okay. And then there's that fir tree right there, or the spruce Yeah He dug a big hole there oh, yeah. But my dad didn't see anything so he covered it up again for getting here so quick. <laughs> oh. So you're moving? It's a, it's a busy day for me. Yeah, I run an art studio, an, an indigenous art studio, and we're moving oh, okay. to a new facility today. 36. That's how, many, that's how many times that your auction level drops in 30.9 events per hour, your airflow kind of stops or almost completely stops. And that's on the basis of blockage at the level of your upper airways. Yeah. It's what we call your apnea, hypopnea index. Apnea means Complete cessation of hypopnea means kind of a decrease or substantial decrease in flow. And your auction level drops to 79%. Uh -huh. So you had you had about 22% of the night with your auction level below 90. So you're kind of holding your breath for a big portion of the night there. <laughs> no, I mean, it's, it's, it's yeah. um, when you're young, it's, I don't want to say laughable, but as we age, certainly this is a risk for high blood pressure. It's a risk for heart disease elsewise it's a risk uh -huh. for stroke okay. and so we have to we have to take it very seriously in addition to the fact that you know it's robbing your sleep efficiency and your ability to be rested and kind of well maintained for the next day yeah hello hello mrs noppy oh hello hey <laughs> Um, I want to see if you could do me a favor. Okay, what do you need? 
So I just talked to my. I forgot that I had a uh, asthma specialist appointment today. Oh, okay. And so he was supposed to call me, and then I missed his call, and I called him back, and I finally got on the phone with him and stuff. Um, anyway, he's he's gonna give me a bunch of free Simbacort and some uh, some nose spray stuff. And, uh-huh. But he wants me to come pick it up, but I don't really got time to roll over there. It's by the hospital. And I got oh, all my shit okay. going on. I wondered when you're out doing your stuff, if you could drop by there. Yeah, I could go pick it up. Okay. Hey, guys. I messed up my pattern yesterday. Look, look, look. We fixed it. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. Yesterday my shoulders are like this. Oh, my tits are up here. Now they were down here and my tits are up here. I'm like, what the heck? Oh yeah, it's gonna fit now. Yeah, it's gonna fit with some room to spare probably. Alright, cool. Okay, so, let's over here. We got the baby Yoda. Yes, I do. Are you trying to make a sleeve? Yeah. Yeah. We're going to square out. Oh, that music. Not going to be able to monetize. That is looking pretty good. Baby Yoda. Yeah, baby Yoda trim. We gotta take some pictures. That looks nice. It's kind of traumatic. Everybody's gotta wrap up their stuff. <laughs> put it away. We're up for a move. Nobody knows what they're prepared for. It's stressful. <laughs> Not even sure where to go. Monday morning, <laughs> feeling lost. Maya's always choose the cold corner. <laughs> nice. <laughs> you can, or if you leave them, they're closed up. I'm gonna, I'm gonna move everything that's in this room to the studio. To the new studio so so get the things that you don't want lost in your box and then they won't be lost And they're all loaded up. <laughs> the wind loves that stuff. It's all coming. Clearing out. Check it out. 258. Not even an hour. Everything that needs to be gone is gone. And most of it's already dropped off. We're doing the second load, which is just some delicate stuff. Right now, the guys are already over there. By the time I get there, they're gonna be half unloaded. Let's go check it out. Going quick. Almost done.
pretty cool. This is my weekend project here. <laughs> setting up. Setting up the new studio. <laughs> <laughs>